Oh my god. Wow guys, ready or not to get some serious updates to this environmental storytelling. It's likely we're going to see a lot of this in this update. And the city of Los Suenos is in a much worse state than I realised. And talking about the update, where the f*** is it? There's still no sign of the support build, even though the first full week of June's almost over. Like I've said before, I've got no problem with Void taking their time making the content good. Just stop giving us a date and not delivering on it. It's like being told your pass is being delivered today, and you stay in all day waiting for it, but it never comes. From what I've seen from the devs in the chat today, it's looking like they're putting off real final touches on it now, so hopefully it's going to be here tomorrow. You may have spotted some of the improvements coming to meth in the recent AI teaser, with a female meth head hiding behind the bookcase, and the old man sat in his heavily congested room. In the supporter discord, they also showed off some of these dark and spooky images of the upstairs of meth. And this guy hiding in this muddy tunnel in the underground. With an array of new suspects, civilians, and a more immersive environment than before, I'm really looking forward to playing Meth with the new update. But aside from this local map lore, they've also shown off some of the really cool environmental storytelling that's been added, giving a much wider picture of what's going on in Los Suenos. They said, Los Suenos is a city in decline, widespread poverty and homelessness, skyrocketing crime rates, and a lack of municipal support are just some of the issues facing the local population. There's an aura of desperation and hopelessness across the city, and the symptoms and results of this can be found throughout the game's levels. Without further ado, let's explore the everyday realities of Los Suenos, a stagnant, stunted place. The 4U gas station has been hit hard by Los Suenos' woes. The city officials' refusal to budge on wage increases has led to a now 40-week long strike by sanitation workers. Garbage is piling up in the streets, and its nauseating stench lingers wherever you go. Along with this image that says, they stop maintaining it, why bother? I think this is the rear corner of the outside of the garage. And then this image that seems to be on the opposite side says, trash ends up wherever there's space. No one's paid to pick it up. You can see there's quite a few piles of rubbish dotted around all over the place here. They go on to say, as if things weren't bad enough, a robbery gone wrong turns into a hostage situation inside the gas station. An armed civilian tried to put a stop to things early, but being a hero doesn't always pan out. Along with this image of the poor guy that's tried to save the day, the caption reads, you should have known better. Luck wasn't on his side. In this city, is it ever? And then there's a close-up of his gun with the caption, failure to eject at the worst time possible. I can't say I've ever had a failure to eject. In fact, I have the opposite issue of ejecting too early. <coughs> and the poor people of Los Suenos can't even get their cash. They say, it's no surprise people were driven to crime. With the worn down DeBanco security services protesting for safer working conditions amidst a string of robberies, there's no one to transport money to the banks. No one to refill the ATMs. With this cash machine image that looks like it's in the dining area of the gas station, there's a caption, we can't even access the money we have. What the hell can we do? And this other cash machine that looks to be outside, there's just a machine that mocks us. What is it good for? <laughs> Then there's the multitude of media that we'll see in here. Boyd said, Throughout Los Suenos, you'll be able to see broader signs of the city's struggles through its media outlets. Whether it's over radio, TV broadcasts, or newspaper publications, everyone's looking for answers that no one seems to have. A series of magazines in the game levels help to flesh out the story. Showing off these images of magazines like Los Suenos Today, reporting on the water wars, protests in Tijuana turn violent, and Tobanco conflict privateers. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it sounds to me like there's something dodgy going on with the security firm Tobanco. Perhaps they're somehow profiting from creating conflict in the city. Let me know what you guys make of that in the comments section down below. The caption reads, A little bit of history for one of America's most storied and now downtrodden cities. And then in this image, showing a magazine called the Mexico Report, surrounded by drug paraphernalia with meth, pills, and even what looks like a heroin needle, but worst of all, nicotine. It looks like someone's drawn on this one with a marker pen on the front page. The magazine's headline is, Further border fights break out on the belt. This certainly looks like a city divided. With the caption, Trouble across the border? Tensions boiling over, who's gonna fix this? And in this image, the Garibaldi Gazette, with the headline titled The Rat King, says sanitation strike spreads to downtown Los Suenos. Overload of garbage has unleashed a massive rodent problem. The caption reads, even the affluent are starting to feel the pain. The rats spread like a plague. Now this has me expecting to see some rats running across my path in the game, and perhaps even providing the jump scare for the more nervous among us. So I'm gonna be live streaming the support build as soon as it drops, so make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe. Make sure you get the notification when I go live, hit the bell notification and tap all. I'll see you in the next one.